and that is hot. <laughs> I told you it was hot. Hot. Woo. <laughs> What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the show. I'm Spencer and I'm Christy and we made it to North Idaho and our son is absolutely loving it. He's been catching catfish, feeding the turtles. I think he caught a couple of turtles. Yep. Chasing he... trout. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Which of course we're chasing him and that makes us hungry. So today we have a very yummy meal to prepare for you. It's not quite on the level of Bruce Mitchell, but we are doing campsite jambalaya. So let's go fire up the Blackstone. Welcome back to Destination Delicious. One thing other than cooking amazing meals that we love to do is explore the areas that we're in. The other day we went out exploring and saw a beautiful waterfall. And it's been raining a lot in the Northwest <laughs> in the past few weeks. And so this waterfall and the river were running super hard and it was, it was really cool to see. Yeah, it was absolutely amazing. As always, our hiking and our adventures gives us a super big appetite. And we wanted a hearty meal tonight. So we were thinking, you know, with the catfish and the turtles in the lake, it kind of gave us a Cajun vibe. So we decided to do some jambalaya today. And the first thing that we need to do is get our jambalaya mix. Sorry, sorry, first. Right. <laughs> but our jambalaya mix is going in a pot of boiling water. We're gonna bring that up to a boil. And while it simmers, we are gonna cut up all the meat gonna cut this into bite-sized pieces. This is a dish my mom used to make when we were growing up. She and my dad spent two years living in New Orleans, so she picked up a few Cajun recipes. And this was always one of my favorites. So now that we got the chicken cut up, I'm gonna get some oil down and get it going on the griddle. And of course, we are using Blackstone's Cajun seasoning for this one. All right, we've got an andouille smoked sausage here that I'm going to cut up. Our campsite jambalaya is gonna have meat, meat, and more meat. Chicken is just about done cooking, so I'm gonna move it to the back corner of the griddle and make room for the sausage to go down. And we'll lightly dust the sausage with Blackstone's Cajun seasoning. Next up, we've got our shrimp. Today, we are going quick and easy, and we've got already peeled shrimp. We just need to take the tails off. Rice is thickening up, and our sausage is cooking good. Guys, this is one that we could really use smell-o-vision on because the smells... <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, it smells so the good. The smells coming off this griddle are intoxicating right now. <laughs> A little fun fact, I actually did not grow up eating spicy food at all. I didn't really realize I liked a lot of flavor and heat to my food until much later in life. And jump When she met me. <laughs> yeah. And jambalaya is the very, very first meal I had meeting his parents. All right, our sausage is looking good. Our rice is probably five to 10 minutes from being done. So I'm gonna move the sausage to the back of the griddle, make some room for the shrimp, and we're gonna get that done. Put it with the cage on. Let's do it. <laughs> it's taking Spencer out over here. I'm gonna cut up a few green onions here just for a lovely garnish. Everything is cooked and ready and now is the fun part. We put it all together. Yep, now the party starts. <laughs> all right, everything is ready. We've got it mixed up. It's time to plate it up and devour the goodness. We're gonna top off a little bit with Frank's Red Hot. Add a little bit more flavor because you know why not? You gotta put hot sauce on Cajun food for a touch of color and flavor. A little green onion. Green onion. And that is hot! <laughs> I told you it was hot! Hot! <laughs> oh. mm -hmm. We definitely made it with a kick. <laughs> so good. I really like this andouille sausage too. It has really good flavor to it. Yep. The Cajun Blackstone seasoning. seasoning mixed with the jambalaya seasoning and the rice just blends so well. Like That's my perfect. tongue is tingling. <laughs> I know we always say we like hot food, but I feel like we haven't really made any like bangers yet, but this is delicious. Yeah, it's so good. Thank you guys for watching us. We had a lot of fun making this. And if you try it at home, don't be afraid to use a box mix for some of the more complicated recipes. It makes Bruce, it close your ears. <laughs> <laughs> it makes it a little quicker, and if you're trying to feed a lot of people, it enables you to enjoy more time with your friends and family. Check out blackstoneproducts.com. Make sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click that bell so you don't miss any of the videos from us at Destination Delicious or... Betty, Todd, CJ, and Nate. And 
Bruce. Oh, I mean, well, I mean clearly Bruce. just made a Cajun <laughs> dish. You can't forget Bruce. You're right, you're right. I didn't mean... <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. And until next time, this is Destination Delicious, and we will see you down the road.